it back. And I've just made some Mutiflor yogurt. You can see what that looks like. And what we're going to do now is uh, freeze dry it, and then we're going to put it in these little capsules here. Okay. Now to do that, uh, I need a freeze dryer, and I basically made my own out of a pressure cooker. Um, the rest of it's out in the garage. But the main thing we need to do is now all this I put in the pressure cooker and I cooked it in the pressure cooker for like 20 minutes so I completely sterilized it because I want to keep this sterile I don't want stray bacteria in here so what I have is some tin foil that I'm going to set aside and use for later got the inside surface of that uh, sterilized I've got three spoons which are nice and sterilized which I'm going to use to stir this up and I've got my plates here which I'm going to basically just uh, scoop the mutiflor onto. Okay, I've got six of these. Now uh, notice when I stir this up um, the curds break up pretty easily and as I smell it it has a very characteristic mutiflor smell. It's kind of like yogurt but not as sour um, as regular yogurt. So we'll just stir that up and then we're going to Spoon that onto these trays. Now we want to get it um, about a half an inch thick. We don't want it too thick because if it's too thick, then it's gonna it's gonna take longer to freeze dry. So. Put that right in there, and then we'll proceed on with the next one. Okay, once this is done, I'm going to freeze dry it, and uh, that means for me, I'm going to put it in the freezer um, as cold as it'll go for about 24 hours, make sure it's totally frozen solid, then I'll put it in the vacuum chamber for about 48 hours, and we'll come back after that when it's all freeze dried. Okay, we're going to make freeze dried Mutiflor this time, and for that we need a freeze dryer. So uh, you can buy freeze dryers for two and a half thousand dollars. Uh, I didn't really want to pay that, so I made my own. Uh, and what I have here is a homemade freeze dryer with. So basically, what you need for a freeze dryer is a vacuum pump, like this little guy right here that I got for like 50 bucks on Amazon, and you need um, you need some piping here. So that's this green hose. And that goes around to this cold trap. So this is a, a refrigerated cold trap. It's a four liter trap. It basically cools down this little uh, glass jar in here down to about minus 60. It's only about minus 25 now, but it'll get down to minus 60 pretty soon. And so the vacuum pump pulls the vacuum up through this hose. Uh, which then sucks the vacuum through this cold trap glass and then uh, sucks it out of where we'll put the pressure cooker here. Uh, so, and, and we need this because we don't want all that moisture to get in and, and clog up the vacuum pump because water in the vacuum pump will mess it all up, so we don't want that. The cold trap has to have a liquid in it that stays liquid at minus 60 degrees and uh, best liquid for that is almost pure ethanol. Um, you can buy that laboratory grade, but um, or you can just you know buy your bottle of Everclear from um, your local liquor store. That works pretty well to charge this thing up and uh, <clears throat> make sure that the glass cold trap gets cold enough uh, without actually um, uh, without freezing. Okay. So now we're going to get the Mutiflor that we put in the freezer a day ago. I'm going to get that out. Now we can see that that Mutiflor yogurt uh, that I had is nice and frozen. This is my homemade uh, freeze dryer setup. And what we're going to do is just take the take this rubber gasket out of here. And then we're going to put a little bit of oil on that to help it make a good seal. 
and that's going to seal the plate onto our uh, our vacuum pump for the freeze dryer. Okay, so I ran a little bit of vegetable oil just around this thing. It's a rubber seal. And now we're going to take this whole thing and put it right on. Okay, now I got this little burner thing down here. Uh, when you're freeze drying, you need a source of heat because in order for the ice to sublimate uh, at the near vacuum, you need some kind of heat source that's going to heat it up. If you don't have a heat source, it just has to suck it in from the outside and it'll go more slowly. Okay, so now we'll just check the vacuum here. The vacuum gauge is going uh, pretty well down. Got most of the vacuum. Once it gets close enough, we can use the fine vacuum gauge. Now this vacuum gauge will tell you the pressure in pascals. It's still kind of high, but we need to get that pressure down to about below 644 pascals. That's the that's the, the freezing point, the sublimation point. So below 644 pascals, and uh, we're in business. Above that, and we're going to have a problem. Okay. So once that gets going, then I've got this handy little PID controller uh, that I've hooked up to this cheap little 1000 watt electric burner. And I'm going to use the PID controller to maintain a very precise temperature. I'm going to want it about, I want to control it about 70 degrees, 75 on the outside. I don't want it to get above that, but I want to inject just enough heat to keep this thing really, uh, you know, freeze drying efficiently, but not, but I don't want it to get too warm or that'll kill the culture. Okay, and our pressure is already dropping below 644 pascals, so that's good. We're going to keep getting it all the way down to below 100. Okay, we're back, and we finished freeze-drying the Mutaflor yogurt. So this is what it looks like. Uh, <clears throat> basically, we started off with yogurt in these trays, and now we've got this kind of flaky, powdery stuff. We're going to, um, first of all, powder it up. We're basically going to use a coffee grinder. And then we're going to put it in capsules. So I've got these, um, these sort of two-piece capsules. Um, here's one. And then I've got uh, <clears throat> the tops. And I bought these from Capsule CN, um, direct from China. They're about... Uh, you can get 2,000 capsules for about $40 US, including shipping. So these are size zero capsules. And I also have this capsule filling machine, which is pretty handy. Uh, <clears throat> so with this, this, this machine was about 20 bucks, also directly from China. And with that, I can fill 100 capsules at a time. Um, now this batch usually makes about mm, roughly 270 capsules. Um, that's what you get out of a liter of soy milk. So, anyway, um, now then what we're gonna do is take this, uh, these spoons and this tin foil that I put in the pressure cooker and autoclaved. So this is sterilized. So we're gonna go ahead and spread that out, make a sterile work surface. From here, filling capsules. You can find videos of that on YouTube um, already. Uh, but we'll just give a little demonstration here how to how to make this work. Anyway, um, so we're just going to take these and use one of these spoons and just you know, do it like this. And then we're just going to scrape this off. Notice how this just kind of flakes off. If you freeze dried it properly, it just flakes off these. And now I've got all this, and it's, it's very kind of flaky, porous. Okay, now we're going to put this into the coffee grinder and grind it up. So we're going to go from these flaky bits to a nice... And now we've got a nice powder. And to fast forward a little bit, what we can do is let's see how this works. Let's take these, these two uh, capsules. Okay, this is the top and the part we fill. And 
You just simply just fill them up. Basically fill them to the top of this big one. Okay. And there you go. There's the Mutafloid capsule. Look closely, you can, you can basically see. Yep. That's it. Mutafloid powder. This will make uh, 250 capsules, size zero. Okay, so now I'm going to fill 100 capsules at a time. I've got my uh, <coughs> capsule filling machine here. I've loaded it with um, 100 of these, uh, these uh, capsule bases, and I'm basically going to spread it over spread the powder on them and fill them up and then I've got uh, these capsule uh, the, the caps 100 of those uh, put the little cap filling plate on it and I'm just gonna fill these up in my handy filling machine here okay so now all I do is I just take this spread it on here spread a good bit And just take this and pretty much spread it around like that until they're all pretty well filled. So I'm just gonna now that I've got this pretty well full, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just tap this. Okay, now here's where the magic happens. We've got this cap plate. What we do is we can turn this thing upside down on top of this. And we're going to press 100 capsules together all at once. Ready? Just like that. Okay. Press it down nice and well. Pull that off. Now all the pills are assembled right in that cap plate. Except for, oops, one didn't make it. But. Okay. So now we're going to turn these out. Yeah. Alright, there you are. A bunch of Mutiflor capsules and that's how you make